If there is one concern we hear from sellers more than anything else in this market, it's how do I buy and sell at the same time to make a seamless move? We're gonna unpack that today. Welcome back to At Home with Heather, where over the next two weeks, we're going to unpack how to buy and sell at the same time, which is a concern for many, many people out there in this market. We're gonna share with you 10 strategies that we have seen our sellers successfully use to buy at the same time. So we're gonna jump right in with point one, which is look at new construction. Consider a spec home. A spec home is a home that is already being built by a builder, typically in a subdivision, sometimes it's not, uh, but these are homes that have a due date that's coming up where they're going to be finished and there's often less competition. So buy a spec home. If a spec home is not your thing, but you wanna be able to have new construction, then another great option is to buy land and custom build. There are some different nuances we have to work out about the timing of selling your home and buying, but this is something we've seen a lot of people successfully do, including my own family this past year. Another thing we have seen our sellers strategically do is to negotiate in their offer possession after closing. This is something we've commonly seen here in Michigan where a seller would close on the home and have 10, 15, 30 days in the home. Right now though, we are seeing oftentimes these dates be extended out even further to allow the seller to find a home and be able to move seamlessly from one to the next. In some situations, we've seen buyers and sellers go about this a different way, which is instead of providing possession after closing, they extend the closing. So typically we see closings around the 30 to 45 day mark, give or take, can be faster, can take longer, but we are sometimes seeing buyers put on the contract a further out closing date. Maybe closing is in 60 days, 90 days, to allow the seller that time to find their next home again for a seamless move. Another strategy that we see sellers employ is moving into a short-term rental. This is the option our family personally chose while we custom built. We did this because it created confidence that our home was sold, we had the proceeds used for the next home, and it took the pressure off of the timing of it all. I know you think this sounds a lot like a double move, it is, but sellers are also doing this in order to potentially write contingent offers on existing property. So that short-term rental, it may only be for a month or maybe they secure the short-term rental and they never even have to move in because they couple it with some of these other strategies like an extended closing, asking for possession and things like that, but they have that short-term rental available to fall back on if they need it to create more time. As you can tell, these are a variety of strategies. We have a whole other episode to unpack more strategies for you. So tune in next week where we unpack the rest.